hi guys welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to be talking about component properties um the updates that have been made to component properties um which is only available in the component property beta version um and to be able to try that out you have to go to your account um go to settings and make sure you check this try new component property authoring feature here um it's in the component property beta um version so once you've done that you can try out the new feature and to do that i'm just going to create an instance of this button here um, i'm going to be using this button library that i created in one of my previous videos i'm going to put the link in the description please do check it out if you're um, interested in creating something like this and you also need to have the basic understanding of the component properties um, especially the instance swap property because um, that is what is most affected by this new update and as you can see on the instance of this um, button I just created, the icon itself is blue. This um, made me identify the question you guys asked from the previous videos. Um, many people complained that um, the icon's um, color was different from the text, which is understandable. So what I did to, to fix that is I do have two um, shades of icon sets, which is the icon's light and the icon's dark. So once you're working and you have um, different variations of your button, you also want to have a corresponding um, icon color sets for that variations of buttons. So for this, I'm just going to select this. And on the right hand panel here, you're going to notice that um, you can see the properties of the buttons, which is the states, the type, um, if it's going to be a CTA, the button label and the icon instance, which is what we're going to be talking extensively about. But um if you have um two shades of your icon like you can see here i have the icon dark and the icon light i'm going to select this icon dark um and i'm going to use the appropriate icon type for this um so that it's very visible i'm going to select this home icon here and you can see um this is what you want to have so basically once you have this the update that have been made to component property um, takes care of the issue of if you select an option here in your instance swap in your icon swap um you're going to see that this automatically gets populated with all the instances on your ad board or on your local or on your team library things like that so, so this update lets us um specifically choose from a wider range of instances so what i mean is to, to be able to use, use this, you, you have to select your main, your main component, component, which is our entire button library here. And you have to come to this um, icon instance here and click on this edit property icon. Once you do that, you're going to have the option of preferred values. If you select that, you're going to see this nested um, instances swap that opens up. Here you can choose from um, all the component instances you have on your board you can choose the specific ones you want to be using for just your buttons so for our buttons um i can say we want to have a delete button and i can select this delete icon i can say we want to have an edit button a download button and maybe probably a heart button so once we have this i'm also going to check this home button because that's what we're using currently once you have this um you then have a preferred value so once you select your instance here and come to this instance swap which is the icon instance you can see that by default you get a preferred um or a predefined sets of values for that particular instance you're working with and this just improves the experience and accessibility of things entirely so to show you guys another update that have been made i have used the instance of this button here in this card components i created and as you can see i also created an instance of this component and this particular instance also does has its own properties right like we can turn off the image and we can turn it on and we can turn off some of the icons and on and we can also edit the card title but then if we want to make changes to the button type itself so if i select this button to make changes to the button type we have to then click in 
to the layers. So if we had multiple layers, we'll then have to select inside each layers and keep clicking till we get inside the layer. Now to improve the experience of this, um, what was introduced is when you click on your main component here, you can click on the component settings by clicking, the, clicking on this plus icon here that says create component property. We now have an option of nested instances. Once you click on this, you're going to see that it gives you the option to check or to show the visibility of instances that are inside this component, which in our case is both of these buttons. So I'm going to check these two buttons. Um, now, once we click on the instance of this component, you can see that we can then edit these buttons directly from our right side um, panel here which just improves the overall experience so we really don't have to click into the components instance to be able to target what we want to make edits or changes to we can easily make changes to them here this delete button we can just change it to download um we can change the text um, from button to download and and so much more um you can do with this so this is basically the updates on components properties i hope you guys understand this and i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to get more videos like this um i will definitely see you in my next video and bye for now